some of you may know from uh, my previous posts, uh, I had a leaking water pump. Uh, the water pump was leaking from both sides. Uh, I didn't realize that it was leaking, leaking from the uh, passenger side until I got, the, got it off. I thought it was leaking out of the lower radiator hose, but as it turns out, it was leaking out both sides. And so, um, and it was at that time that I discovered a, uh, a scratch on the top of the timing cover and on the back of the water pump itself. Uh, those two scratches lining up, obviously the timing cover and the block um, were uh, rubbing, uh, the timing cover and the uh, water pump were rubbing together. And uh, it was thought that the cam walk may be an issue with that. And I'm not saying that it isn't, but um, rather than rip it all apart, I was really procrastinating about doing that. I decided to get the old water pump and timing cover. These two came off the the block that's currently in the car. Uh, and they're obviously a greasy mess, but the water pump and the timing cover, they mo I believe they mount on the same vertical plane on the engine, on the front of the engine. And you would think that they would have clearance between them. But as it turns out, uh, I don't think that they do. And I'll just scoot this water pump back and forth. I've got the timing cover clamped down. I've got the, the uh, water pump on, uh, uh, sitting as flat as possible on my table. And keep in mind, these two pieces were on the same engine, and I believe them to be original for each to each other because they are just absolutely caked in grease, just like the whole engine was. And I bought this complete engine. It was complete from the carburetor to the oil pan to the exhaust manifolds, all of it. It was just one big takeout. So here's the water pump. I'm going to move it forward and drag it back towards the timing cover. And you can obviously hear that uh, scratching on, on the timing cover, which means that... These things, uh, I believe they touch each other from the, from the factory. They just, um, uh, we, we just never notice it. And you can also see, here's a, a look down at the uh, timing cover. You can see where I've been scratching or moving the water pump back and forth. And you can see how it, uh, how it uh, drags on the, um, on the timing cover itself. Um, here's the mark, there's the mark on the back of my water pump and that is, I don't know, the lighting is probably really poor. I don't know if you can see the, um, mark on the timing cover or not. If not, if you can't see it in that, in that, uh, video, then you can see it in the picture above and some of the other posts. They, they are obviously, uh, are contacting at the same point. So, uh, I don't know. I'm not saying that the cam is not walking, but I don't. Uh, I don't think that those those marks are um, a result of that. I think that's just the way it is. Um, I've measured both of these pumps to see to check the heights on them to see if they're, uh, you know, to see if this pump right here had possibly been milled down or something, making it shorter, making it tied up against the timing cover and I don't think that's the case. They just, uh, these uh, flange thicknesses right here uh, are the same between this pump and this pump is just, like I said, this is a, I don't think that's ever been rebuilt. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's what I found. I'm, I'm still not, uh, I, I had the uh, timing cover, the two piece Chloe's timing cover in my, in my Amazon uh, cart, but I don't, I don't know that I'm going to get them just yet. I'm going to have to think think about this. I do recall when I screwed this engine together uh, of bending the uh, timing cover out for uh, to get my end play set just right. So I don't know that uh, I don't know that I'm ready to pull the the trigger on that one yet. But we'll we'll certainly find out. Thank you.